one of the most enthralling and enchanting experience that you can have in India is a ride on camelback across the wind-swept vast desert. Taking a camel ride will also give you a taste and experience of the rustic rural life of the great Indian desert. Let's explore this vast desert. A vast desert is located on the western part of India and it is known as Thar Desert. Another name for Thar Desert is the Great Indian Desert. Now as we can see in this map, Thar Desert is located in the western part of Rajasthan and it also extends up to Pakistan. Thus, Thar Desert forms a natural boundary between India and Pakistan. Now, Thar Desert is encircled by several other physiographic features. For instance, it is bounded on the west and northwest by river Indus and its important tributary Satlej. Also, it is bounded to the east by Aravali Range. And to the south of Thar Desert lies a region of salty marshes known as Ranaf Kutch. So, these are the important boundaries of Thar Desert. Well, now the word Thar originates from the word Thal, which means sand reaches. Well, this region is called so because it is characterized by numerous sand dunes which are of varying size and shapes. Also, the temperature of this place is extremely high and there is little moisture content or humidity in air. Now, we can say that this region is a hot arid region with lack of water resources. Thus, Thar Desert is a perfect example of tropical hot deserts in the world. Now, although Thar Desert is an extremely dry arid region, but it is blessed with Luni River. Well, Luni River is the only major river in Thar Desert. This river originates in the Ajmer district of Rajasthan and then it flows southwards and drains into the Ranafkach region. So, Luni River being the only major river in Thar Desert is also the primary source of irrigation. Cultivation of crops to some extent has been possible due to the presence of Luni River in Thar Desert. Now, before proceeding with our lesson, let us see if we can answer this. The only major river in Thar Desert is, the options are Ganga, Yamuna, Indus, Luni. Well, which of them do you think is the correct one? You can't remember? Let me help you out. We just read that Luni River is the only major river in Thar Desert. So, the correct option will be Luni River. Well, we know that rivers and streams are seldomly found in Thar Desert. These rivers and streams drain into salt lakes or sometimes disappear into the sand. Thus, the Thar Desert is a region of inland drainage as the streams or rivers disappear into the sand or they flow into salt lakes. The rivers or streams mostly appear during rainy season and they disappear after that. As mentioned just now, the rivers and streams drains into several saline lakes or salt water lakes present in Thar Desert and these salt water lakes are known as Dhans. Well, the largest saline lake or salt water lake of India is Sambar Lake. This lake is present in the Jaipur city of Rajasthan. Now, being saline in nature, this lake has high salt content. So, a good amount of salt can be extracted from this region. Thus, Sambar Lake is a good source of Rajasthan's salt production. Now, again going back to the fact that Thar Desert is a dry barren region with lack of water resources. Do you think that is cultivation of crops possible in such a region? 
Well, construction of a canal named Indira Gandhi Canal has made irrigation possible in Thar Desert. Well, Indira Gandhi Nahar is the longest canal in India. It runs from the southern part of Punjab to the western edge of Rajasthan and it drains the entire region of Thar Desert. Well, this canal derives water from two prime tributaries of river Indus that is Bias and Satlej. So, construction of Indira Gandhi Nahar was an important step of the Indian government and it has changed the lifestyle of people living in Thar Desert by making irrigation possible in this region. So now since irrigation is possible in Thar Desert due to the presence of Indira Gandhi Nahar, so cultivation or agriculture can also be practiced here. Thus crops like wheat and cotton are now cultivated in Thar Desert. Also crop cultivation in Thar Desert has created a number of jobs for the local residents and has boosted the local economy of Thar Desert. So from this we learn that how a region can progress by using the resources and technology judiciously. Well although the climate of Thar Desert is unfavorable as it is extremely hot and dry here but the region is rich in fauna and many exotic animals can be found here. The most common animal of Thar Desert is camel. In fact, it is also known as the ship of the desert. Also, camel safari is a popular activity of Thar Desert. Well, apart from camels, black bucks are also native to this region. Well, a black buck is a rare species of antelopes and it is also one of the fastest running animals on earth. But now, black buck is a near threatened species. Thar Desert is also famous for a rare bird species that is the Great Indian Bustard. Well, this Great Indian Bustard is only found in India. Other animals that are found in Thar Desert are Indian Gazelle, Fox, Scorpions etc. Thus, Thar Desert is quite rich in wildlife. So in today's lesson, we discussed a lot about an important physiographic division of India that is the Thar Desert. We firstly understood where it is located and the important boundaries of Thar Desert. Thar Desert we know is located in the western part of Rajasthan and it is surrounded by river Indus and its important tributary Satlej. Aravali range and run of Kutch also forms the boundaries of Thar Desert. We also came to know that Luni river is an important river of Thar Desert and it is also known as Sagarmati. Apart from this, construction of Indira Gandhi Nahar was an important step of the Indian government and it has made cultivation of crops possible in Thar Desert. And finally, we discuss about some of the animals that are found in Thar Desert. So this is all about Thar Desert of India. In our next lesson, we shall be discussing about islands of India. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one-to-one -one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5,000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and ipads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy but it's rewarding too. So register for free now.